everyone is always pointing out in my videos when they see ghosts or what they think are ghosts. I've never been a disbeliever. I've just never had anything happen to, uh, to make me believe. So it's uh, about 9.30 at night right now. We're heading out to the crematorium. Just gonna see if we can see anything or hear anything, but uh, we'll see. Great big boiler right here. And unfortunately, the roof has completely caved in on us. So uh, we can't go in this room at all. The front entrance actually is right here, uh, right there. So we came in the back side. So right at the back, this is a great big chimney all the way up. And I don't know for sure, but maybe this is where the bodies went in. Lots of ash here. This is the outside of the building here going around to the front. Show you guys a quick look in the front here. So that room right there, that's where we just were. And the whole roof is caved in. They stopped using the crematorium in 1950, and I think it's just sat abandoned since then. So I'm lucky enough to have a camera with infrared, so it's actually pitch black in here. Um, I've never had any sort of experience with ghosts or paranormal or anything, so I think we're just kind of going to sit here and just see uh, if we feel anything, if we hear anything, and I'll kind of just talk to you guys about um, what I'm feeling and hearing in here. We can't see anything other than the light on the camera. So it's like completely pitch black. But I think we'll sit here for a couple minutes. So if you don't want to sit through this, uh, I think probably maybe two minutes we'll sit here. Uh, fast forward to this time right here. First of all, very silent. It's raining right now, uh, so we can hear the rain trickling. Otherwise, I feel calm. Feel anything? No. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Emmy's ter absolutely terrified <laughs> when we were coming here. We were debating whether or not we wanted to come here at night. And we were thinking about it, thinking about it, and thinking about it. And then randomly, the alarm clock went off in the <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> So I took it as a sign that we should probably come here. But uh, that gave me a little bit of shivers, but now that we're here, it feels completely fine. I know there is a cemetery close to here. Um, for the first 40 years that this place was running, it uh, cremated their own their own bodies. Well, if somebody died here, either the family could claim the body, if family didn't come and claim, what? What is me? Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, for the first 40 years that this place was running, the it was up to the facility to dispose of the bodies. If somebody died here, uh, the family could come and claim it. But if nobody claimed it, then they were able to, uh, it was up to them to dispose of it. So that's why they built this crematorium. Uh, there's a cemetery right around here, somewhere close by. And uh, 1,498 people were, uh, went through, or at least buried in the cemetery. Most of those were cremated remains. Yeah, 
it's just rain dripping. <laughs> we do hear little things. I think it's just when small raindrops are building up into a big drop and then the drop comes down and hits on, on the floor. Well, <laughs> how scared are you? There's nothing happening in here. Okay, well, I don't want to let my camera sit in the rain too long, so let's pack it up. Yeah. Okay. Let's go home. You can turn the lights on if you want. Okay, a couple things I wanted to talk about about the crematorium because I didn't touch on them in the video, because uh, a couple weird things didn't happen. Now I'm not saying that makes me a believer because I'm still not, but it's interesting stuff so I thought you guys might want to hear it. When we were at the hotel, we actually arrived in Cedro Woolley the day before we filmed and we went and checked out uh, just one quick walk through the, the location and we knew about the crematorium and I said, this is an amazing opportunity, we can go at nighttime. And of course, Emmy was terrified and while we were talking about whether or not we should go, well, it was a kind of while we were me trying to convince Emmy to go, uh, the alarm went off in the hotel room. It was kind of weird, but when we looked at the time, it was exactly nine o'clock. So my thinking is that somebody set the alarm for 9 a.m. and then, or tried to set it for 9 a.m., but accidentally set it for 9 p.m. So that's what happened there, in my opinion. When we went to the crematorium, uh, we were joking on the way there about that alarm clock going off and I told Emmy uh, in Canada or in North America the time of the dead is 3.30 a.m. or 3 a.m. I, I can't remember exactly what I said but um, I was telling her that's our like time of the dead and when we'd gotten back from the crematorium she randomly woke up at 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. Uh, I can't remember the, the correct number but whatever correlates um, so that was weird, and that night I also had a bad dream. I still don't relate it because going into it, seeing how scared Emmy was kind of put me on edge a little bit. And the only other weird thing that happened was when we were at the crematorium, there was one time in the footage where both of us kind of looked up to the left at the exact same time. And when we were watching the footage back, we noticed that and it kind of took our breath away a little bit, but immediately after I talk about how we're hearing the raindrop. We do hear little things. I think it's just when small raindrops are building up into a big drop. I'm quite sure that we were both looking up to what we heard being a raindrop. So those were really the only things that were weird at all that happened. Uh, other than that, it was a really good adventure. The day when we were in the crematorium, we actually didn't find the burn room because the, the roof had collapsed in there. So we could only go in the back side where the boiler and stuff was. But the next day when we went back, we did go around and inside the front, there is a, a kind of a side door you can go in there and you can go into the burn room. And it's really weird because there's all the poles going across like this where they put, I don't know how they place people in there but underneath is still a whole bunch of ash. I don't know if that's human ash or wood ash or what it is, but it's kind of a, a creepy thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm planning on doing uploads every Saturday. I'm gonna try and do an adventure upload every Saturday and then kind of fascinating little stuff in between. So this is kind of just a cool highlight that I took out of this adventure. And I think throughout the week, I'm gonna try and pull little highlights and stuff out as I go along. So hopefully you guys are cool with that and you like it. Thanks. Just getting here to the crematorium. I'll take you guys for a little tour.